Well, hello and good morning, YouTube. Uh, this is a video about my helmet. This uh, Duke, Carberg Duke 2. I don't recommend them, I really don't. They're very windy. Um, they said it's one of the quietest uh, for the sub uh, price of it, what the, you pay for them. They're not worth the money, honest to God. They're all right if you're doing about 40 mile an hour max, like a scooter or something, but this is actually uh, not good at all. And not only that, it is quite heavy. Um, so I decided to buy the shoe in. Let's put that back. I decided to buy the Shoei NXR2. Um, it came yesterday. Uh, the retail at £429, on, well it was on a special actually at that price and um, I watched it from eBay, from the, from the bike, uh, motorbike shop and the bloke offered me some discount so from £429 I got it down to £385 so £385 for the Shui NXR2 is not a bad price. Yesterday I took the uh, protective sticker off, put it on and uh, went out down the bypass not far away from here, reached the uh, limit of 70 mile an hour which you can do and um, excellent, just excellent. No horrible wind sound, no nothing. So I've ordered a, a Pacific chin mount from the chin mount company which I'm having fitted just here, it goes there. And I've ordered me a uh, putty, that's the steel well putty stuff, so I can mount it on that because they say don't trust uh, 3M sticky pads on nothing on your helmet because they will come off in the heat. Anyway, this is the helmet, it's got a, an excellent vent system at the back and uh, two, and I mean these, I tried these, I pulled them out. You have two there, one either side, and then you flick that up, and you uh, you've got your big vent there. Plus you've got a a vent there. If, if I uh, open the out, I was struggling pulling this up, but I didn't read the instructions. You're supposed to press that button and it flips it. So that's the helmet. Uh, there's a, a couple of things uh, I want to say about this helmet. I know I only went a couple of miles in it, but this helmet does not have the sun visor. It does, this is the one that does not have the sun visor, which is a bit of a downer. Um, what else was it I was going to say? I'll come back to that anyway. Oh yeah, cranking the uh, there. You have to make sure it's up there so you have a big gap. It won't sort of just stay open when you crank it. This is, which is a shame, that's one, two, three. It's got loads of positions where you can hit a hole. Um, I can get, um, it's got the pin lock, it come with a pin lock visor, I fitted that, I don't know if you can see. I have fitted the pin lock visor. Very easy to uh, take off the visor. You uh, turn that knob there, slide that across and then just pull that back because that lock locking mechanism there stops the uh, thing from being caught and pushed back so your visor doesn't come off. Um, comfort wise, I quite like it. I'll just put it on and show you. That's it underneath, it comes with uh, this chin guard. This chin guard and also this thing here, this rubber thing where your vent, you've got all vents in there which go up your screen so if you need ventilation at the front you can it only looks a little old but it's a fantastic little helmet that's it on i don't know if you can see that but that's it on that's it cut down and it sounds like the sounds are booming in here so uh, it is a good fit but as you know if you know anything about shoey helmets they are designed through their own wind tunnel to eliminate most um i'll just shut these vents uh, to eliminate most wind noise which is a uh, fantastic but that's it there this is a size medium 
Uh, the weight is 13.85 and it's that's helmet alone and it's got with options whatever they are it goes up to 14 but i'll tell you now that is light that is really light actually now these these uh this is light i'm being said it's like the weight and a half again and what we got 15.50 which goes up to 16.50 with options so it just goes to show you really that most should be all right but the summer plodding around if you're just plodding around but i'm very interested in the um if i've got i've tried this and i'm very very interested now in the uh shiri adventure i'll make in white i do like this from what i uh, wore a bit yesterday being brand new it just pushes a little tiny bit but no pressure marks so you know what i mean i went out for uh well for the whole length of the bypass from um, Humber Road all the way right up to the Neaton. It's a good 10 mile joint that, all that way, it's both ways. So 20 miles in total. Islands involved, traffic lights, so, and it was just perfect. So I'm happy with this. But as I say, the 429, 429 pound. I say it like that so you understand what I'm saying and they give me the discount so i watched it for a couple of weeks so i think the only reason why i had it that's on a sale for 429 so it was the last one the last one i know they come out in 2021 so they're only a year old but you do get a five year uh, warranty with it so for the money i paid hopefully it'll be a very serviceable helmet for me because at first i could never um Get used to these proper full face helmets. I've got one in the shed, as you know, the green NXR flagger. I've got the flagger in the Karazaki colours, grey and green. But I wore that and I went out and I thought, oh, that's so quiet. So I think that's what convinced me to get another shoey. And I have. So I'm happy with my purchase. Um, as I say, I'm waiting for the uh, uh, Pacific Chin Mount from the Chin Mount Company to come. So that'd be going there and I bought their bracket system so if it would bring the camera this way so you can tilt it back so when your head's down like that your camera will be facing forward perfect. If not I've got a uh, extra little um, bars that I can fit on that. Anyway thank you for uh, watching. Uh, if you haven't done already uh, please subscribe and hit the bell button for more videos, so more content to come. Um, I hope you enjoyed the videos of the um, NEC. I took the bike in Thursday, jumped on the bus, and uh, my God, it was a total disaster. I was sitting right at the back on the driver's side on the wheel, and a woman was sitting on the other wheel on the passenger side, and she said, move, and I looked at her and I thought, why should I? And next minute she just opened up, vomited all out me, it's all my uh, trousers and my boot. Anyway, I got out and rinsed it all off. Uh, the pants I've sent away to get cleaned professionally. And guess what? I caught that bug what she had. I was ill, really ill. So I lost two days at the NEC. I apologise about that, I really do, but that was uncontrollable, it wasn't my fault. So smile subscribe share and like and thank you for watching solo moto uk this is derek bye for now